Now we are going to look at a couple of ways of being able to find out information about our surface. Before we do that, however, we are going to just clean up the display. So we're going to pop to the Outputs tab and uncheck the display of the mesh, which will now no longer be displayed on the screen. And we're also going to go to the Layer pull-down and just turn off the display of the CSD Surface Boundary Layer. We don't need to see that anymore. In the Surface Manager, let's click on the Statistics tab. If you have no values present in the form, click on the Update button. This will provide information about the definition of your surface, ranging from the minimum elevation, maximum elevation, and things like the plan area. It's always worth reviewing this when you've created a surface to make sure that you don't have any values which um, are uh, incorrect. For example, you may have a level of zero or an elevation of zero present in your surface, which shouldn't be there. So it's worth reviewing this part of the form to make sure that you're seeing the correct values. We're going to close down Surface Manager and then zoom extents in the drawing. We're going to go to the Surfaces tab and on the Surfaces tab, Utilities panel, click on the Inquiry tool. Civil 3D users you can go to the Roads tab, go to the Utilities panel, and the same button, the Inquiry tool, is available there. The software will bring up a small form asking us what information we would like to interrogate from the drawing. Now, as far as civil site design goes, we've only got one object, which is a surface, so it doesn't matter that the rest of these objects are all, um, all these object types are turned on. Click Inquire Results, and then we're going to zoom in to lot 200, and simply left click somewhere around the middle of the lot. This form will provide elevation information about this particular surface at the point where we've just clicked. If we want to change the position, of the marker, we can do this very easily by left clicking on the marker itself, using the grip and left clicking on the grip to reposition. And we can use our object snaps, for example, to snap to any part of um, the drawing to get an updated elevation. So this is a very useful tool to aid and supplement when you're creating and managing your surfaces within the software.